Hi, I'm Jennifer Garapi, the pet therapist. I tell you what your pets would say if they could talk. Today we're going to talk about dog bones. Did you know that bones can actually kill your dog? Your pet wants you to know that there are three major categories of bones. Cooked, raw, and edible dental chews. And which one of these to avoid? Today we're going to focus on the cooked bones. Your dog wants you to know that cooked bones should be avoided at all costs. First of all, cooking can remove the nutrition that's found in the bones. But way more importantly is that cooking makes the bones brittle, which makes them more prone to splintering. And those splinterings can cause lots of internal injury to me, your dog. Now the FDA does a good job of listing what types of internal injury can occur with cooked bones. Now if you're inclined to think, well, you know, I've always fed my dog cooked bones and I've never had a problem, then I hope this list will give you pause and make you think twice about continuing the practice because these are some pretty serious events that can occur. So cooked bones, number one, um, I'm going to give you eight nasty things that cooked bones can do. And so number one, they can actually break my teeth. Number two, they can tear up my mouth and my tongue and lead to lots of bleeding. Number three, those splinters, they can get stuck in my esophagus on the way down into my stomach. You'll need to take me to the veterinarian for that. Similarly, number four is the small bits of bone and the little splinters. I can accidentally <gasps> inhale them and they can go into my windpipe. That means I'm going to have a lot of trouble breathing and you're going to have to rush me to the vet because this is an ASAP emergency. Number five, they can get stuck in my stomach or intestines. And if the bones cause a blockage, I'm probably going to need surgery. Number six, they can cause constipation due to bone fragments. So these bone fragments are very sharp and they're scraping the inside of the large intestine or the rectum as they move along, which makes them really hard to pass, causes severe pain, and may require another visit to our veterinarian. Bones also contain a lot of calcium, which is a firming agent. Number seven, because of all that scraping, they can cause severe bleeding of the rectum. And that severe bleeding means, again, you probably need to take me to the vet. That's going to be a lot of blood. And number eight, cooked bones can lead to peritonitis. Per peritonitis, sorry, peritonitis. And because if the bone fragments poke little holes in my stomach or intestines, um, peritonitis is a bacterial infection, and that can um, result from those little holes. It's a very difficult to treat infection, and I can actually die from it. So again, it's something that you need to take me to the vet for right away. So what I want you to remember today is that if a bone is cooked, it's not for me. In the next segments, we're going to talk about the other two major types of bones, raw bones and the edible dental chews. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about pets and join a fun online community of pet lovers, type champions in the comments, and I would love to have you join my Facebook group, Pet Champions. Until next time, have a great, safe day with your dog.